The first indigenous aircraft carrier Vikrant has returned after completing the third phase of sea trials, during which it undertook complex maneuvers to establish specific readings of how the carrier performs in various conditions. Various sensor suites of the carrier was also tested, as well as the functioning of underwater weapons and associated systems were also checked. On successful completion of the ongoing series of progressive sea trials, the carrier will be commissioned as INS Vikrant later this year. The Rorkela Steel Plant has announced that it has received a certificate from the Indian Navy for producing DMR-grade high-strength speciality steel for the construction of submarines. The high-quality steel has been developed with years of research and several rounds of testing that can absorb high ballistic impact. The steel plant has so far supplied more than 7,000 ton of steel, adhering to stringent quality specifications for use in various naval applications. In a significant development, six units of the indigenous 8x8-wheeled armored platform with indigenous 7.62 coaxial machine gun has started user trials by Indian paramilitary forces. The WAP was designed with mine and ID resistance in mind, and a standard operating crew includes driver and commander, with a squad of 12 members. The RDO's combat vehicles research and development had floated a tender for the manufacture of assembly of turret structure under Project Elegant, which is also known as electric gun and turret drive system, and as per latest information, Larson and Tubro will manufacture the turret structure, that will be tested on a modified Arjun Mark 1A variant, and will find its way in the DRDO's future main battle tank. The RDO's Vehicle Research and Development Establishment had floated a tender for development of high-mobility 8x8 cross-country vehicle, and as per latest reports, Bharat Earth Movers Limited has now signed a 2.5 crore rupees deal with the RDO's Vehicles Research Development Establishment to develop the high-mobility 8x8 cross-country vehicle, and the cost includes training of cabin crew. The high-mobility 8x8 cross-country vehicle can be operated in all-terrain and climatic conditions, and will also be bulletproof and blast-proof. Officials have said that the first S-400 unit will be made operational in April, and new reports indicate that all the five units will be deployed by 2023 along the line of actual control with China. Advanced consignments of two S-400 systems have arrived from Russia, and the work is underway by the Indian teams that were trained in Russia, to assemble the radar systems. Bharat Electronics Limited has said, that the company is developing a new unmanned drone, which is a tethered unmanned aerial vehicle, that can loiter in a fixed position above airfields and army bases, and will provide 360-degree surveillance capability. It features one CCD video camera with a range of 2 km in daylight, an electro-optical infrared thermal camera with a range of 1 km. It can fly for 6 hours with powered cables, and if the power gets abruptly disconnected, the inbuilt batteries can continue to power it for another 5 minutes. Oh,